All right, we are back with more Factorio. Here we go. I am Pax. And we're continuing here the playthrough of Factorio Space Exploration. And we're chilling up here at our space station, enjoying life with our new LTN space trains. Not quite space trains, technically, but a train in space. And this double junction has been really good. This uh, provider and requester station for the LTN. That's really been really amazing. So I'm, I'm liking it. Sometimes it gets a little messed up. So I sometimes think of maybe making this seven just to make it a little different. And this one in particular is messed up here. This wire should be connected to this decider combinator as well. And that should make it pretty nice in terms of unloading. Yes, good, looked good. And so we've been stacking up the energy catalogs, but they are now kind of bottlenecked by the, the blank data cards. And we're producing them, but generally the idea is that they get recycled, but we haven't set up the recycling, so it's taking a bit longer. And let's see, I've redone the rockets. So I've redone the request for this rocket. And, but it's still kind of messed up because it's all the old request. And it messed up because I accidentally didn't have the chest here attached. But then the other mistake here is that the green wire is attached to the landing pad and to the LTN, and I don't want the landing pad attached to the LTN. So I'm gonna disconnect the green wire and reconnect the LTN with the red wire. So now the LTN only sees what's in the chest in the warehouses. And that should be okay, so hopefully that keeps going. And then our goal today is to then build the next little tier of science. And so, yes, so I set up the rockets. So I went to the Orbit 2 rocket and I used Helmon to set it based on energy catalog and this energy science pack. So this was what was set. And I used Helmon to also set the Orbit Orbital Hub rocket so now it will be ready for making flat solar panels too. So it starts, it's gonna have a lot more holmium. And I also asked it to make space rails. So I put rails on there and then I asked it to make even more thermofluid and even more blank data cards because we're gonna need a lot of them for all these sciences. So that one's also set up very nice. And then, so then let's put these energy science numbers back to reasonable. And the idea is, well, we only produce 0.3 catalogs right now. So let's consider, oops, let's consider then changing this to, I don't know, 0.1, I think is pretty close. So yeah, we'll build, I mean, this is pretty close to what we'll build. So let's just go for this. And we want to use this station again. And I think, let's see, did I fix the station? I think I did. Okay, yes. So that looks good. So this is our normal station, right? But what we're gonna do this time is also make Well, we're, we're, this will be another kind of special station that will make also use the special belts. We only have so many of them left. So let's see, let's go, re let's just request them all. Let's see, just get the cyan ones. I think that's what we have mostly. Turn on. Okay, we need to be in the network. Let's put a report here. 
All right, and then for this build, the general idea is that the catalogs come in and from the catalogs, you have to make energy insights. And from the insights, you make significant data. And then you use all three of these things to make this PAX. And all of the different sciences have a very similar recipe. And, but then you get even better recipes for like the data once you get different types of insights and different types of catalogs. And so this gets more and more efficient. So every time we, essentially every time we do a new catalog, we'll have to redo this entire area anyway, this little science section. So we'll be prepared for something like that. And then where we're gonna start, of course, though, is with the, with all this actually, all the way to here because we need the thermofluid again. And get rid of this. All right, so we'll put the thermofluid down. Similar kind of idea. And if we go here, I'm gonna also, let's see, I want this general thing to be true everywhere. So hopefully it's like this mostly. And yeah, I don't mind um, a couple of modules speeding things up, it's all good. So this looks great. So this will be our start and this is going to be, I think this is going to be very, very standard. And one thing then we want to do, so then we're going to build a bunch of these computers. So let's pin this. And I think I'm going to build three of them. I'm going to put a space here. So one, one thing we need is a way for the thermofluid to maybe come back from the other side. So I'm going to put one space here and allow the thermofluid to sneak through. Then we want one, two, three of these computers. <clears throat> For the doing the insights. And then we'll do one for the significant data. Yeah, we'll make the bus go a little bit further. Say it here. Okay, that's looking pretty okay. Pretty okay. This is all looking good. Then now we have the. So this is for cool. You need cool, but you need cold. Yes. So this is the cold coming across. So here's cold. This needs cold. The cool ends here. I don't think any more cool is needed. <clears throat> then the other thing we're gonna want, put a substation here. That looks good. Three of these, that's fine, three is good. And then we want one of these. And this sends back the thermofluid. I wanted to put it on this side, so I can push align it with this one. That looks pretty good. So this goes here. And let's say it does like this, and this is it's okay we'll put the cold here and that's very convenient okay okay then wow we're almost there we're almost there already let's do the these guys so they need two of these inserters I see okay Okay, I think this is okay. So this one's just, these two are just free reign. I think that's okay though. But these ones, I need them to have wires. So they're gonna be data cards, but let's make it a little bit less, say 60. And you're gonna be insights. Energy insights, energy insights, 20. Probably fine. So we want these here and here and here. And 
you are going to have also data cards, right? Uh, but then this is going to be the significant data. Great. Okay, that looks good. This is looking good. It's all hooked up. Cool. Okay, well, maybe let's start asking for some stuff. So let's turn this on. Ask for what we need thermofluid. So let's get some thermofluid. Then we need the energy catalogs. And uh, lots and lots of holmium plate, I think. Let's just say, I don't know a lot. Oops. This much, even more than that, yeah. All right, this is looking pretty good. Then what do you need? You need, you're gonna need some things. Let's give you some substations. Hmm, I would like this to be here. Guess we have to do that, I don't know. We'll see about that, we'll see how that goes. Okay, that looks fine. And you need some outputs. Or just two, just two. So you need science facts and junk data cards. Energy science, energy science. Junk, junk. You uh, recycle the junks. Okay, we have these. Okay, great. Let's let's put them on the bus then. So we'll go thermofluid. Just do twenty. Uh, yeah, twenty, whatever. Then we'll go with the energy insight. Twenty, and we'll need holmium plate when it comes. I think a lot more though. Let's do fifty. Okay, cool. Energy Insight. We should be making Energy Insight now, I guess. And what are you doing? You've got some catalog. Waiting on the plate, you've got the fluids. you got your outputs. Insights are coming. Awesome. Got the thermofluid going. Here's some Holmium plate coming now. Lots and lots of catalogs are available. Okay, this is good, looking good. Okay, then, but then what I want to do is actually just, just I would like this, this since this is like the last kind of special station, or you know, the science is like the most special station left, this one. So I'm gonna use our last bit of the deep transport belts here. There we go. Nice, hey, you got some significant data. Our first significant data has been produced. And some energy science, there we go. What's wrong with you? 60. We built some energy science. Hello, huzzah. It's really more than 60 already. These are all. They're all 60, huh? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to get them off. So then, yes, you're going to be take off the significant. I mean the data cards, yes. So two, like get them all off, 2,000. Yes, we need to take the data cards out, yes, right. And then we need to recycle the junk. We want this. So let's put this here. And we will put a little recycling thing here. So this will be for the junk data cards and the broken data card to mean broken 
and you're just going to put scrap back on. And I think I'll just let it, again, not be constrained, right? Okay, sure. Let's see if that bites me. Um, okay, so but then we need to, yeah, we need to take care of empty barrels and scrap. So let's go do scrap 500, take all the scrap off and take all the empty barrels off 100. Right, so this these ones will pull off from the sushi belt and put it back onto the uh, chest here, and then if, and then this will then go into the LTN and be provided to the LTN if necessary. Okay, I got another like silly, <laughs> getting stuck in a loop here. So again, I'm gonna just try to override. Yeah, there we go. So just sometimes that happens, but it's rare enough that it doesn't fully bother me but cool we have yes we have some energy science and how much do we have oh yeah i guess the other thing we want to pull off of course is energy science here we go energy science and let's just say a thousand whatever just no. awesome and how much do we have now should be 20 or so 14 Okay, well, let's grab these. I'm just gonna grab them for now and we'll fly over and get some energy science done. Just uh, throw it into the lab. Just get this Holmium cable research. It only takes 10. And I guess what we'll do here is set this up to bring back energy science. So we will request it, energy science packs. So we'll say negative 500. No, let's say, I mean, like, gosh, four stacks would be 800. Let's do that. Then, yes, you'll want to put them onto the bus. So 20. Great. Okay, so that will bring the energy science back, but it's going to be a while because. Well, we, it takes, we have to, the train won't even be activated until we get an entire stack, which is like 200. So it's going to take some time, but we did our first energy science. Hey, we made Holmium cable and we've got a new sushi belt set up for making our insights and our significant data. And yeah, basically every time we come do a catalog, we'll have to come back here and reconfigure a bit, a bit add another you know science pack thing and change there's like a lot of different recipes for significant data that will you know make it a, a lot more efficient and we'll have to change it basically every time so this will be a very important train station and that's why i also left some space in case we need to make it pretty big but but it will be you know the last place where we can use any of the fast belts until well we can't it's going to be a really long time until we'll, we'll be able to build these these uh, deep transport belts, but but all good. This is then I think a good place to call the session. We have now energy science being created and on the train network, and we'll just go through and get some of the energy science go going. And I think these two will be very early, and uh, yeah, grab some other buildings and whatnot. Uh, but especially starting to make the space rails and to make the next tier of the solar power pa panels, we'll be able to do that now. So that will be though the next session, I think. And for now, yeah, we're, we're gonna be happy with our new facility for creating energy science packs. Yay, cool. Well, I'll call it there, there, call it, I'll call it here. There you go, Factorio. I am Paxia in the next video.